Hello and uh, welcome to this video. This is on arrays and pointers in C and C++. Now as you all know, uh, array is a contiguous collection of elements of the same type. And how do we define it? In C or C++ we would define an array like this. int a is equal to maybe I'll initialize it directly 4 and 5 so what this means is that we have got an array of 5 elements starting at 0 so 1 is at a0, 2 is at a1 and 5 is at a4 and what is a? a is actually the first element a is the address of the 0th element in the array. So, we will try and discover and try and enumerate many ways of using the array A using pointers. Let's get to the C++ code. I will create the array over here. C int A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, I'll run a loop and print it all the elements for i and t i equal to 0 i less than equal to 4 i plus plus and c out a i this should print the contains of the array. There you are. Build. Compile. Let's say this compiles properly. Waiting for the output. Build and run. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I managed to print all elements. Now, let's try it using pointers. See, i and t star p is equal to a. I'll put it like this. Now, instead of this, I'll write star p plus i. Let's see if we get the same output as before. Build and run. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It actually worked. What happens? This here P was assigned to A. Now A, as I said, is the address of the 0th element in the array, which is this. So it was assigned here. Now, when P is 0, then becomes P plus 0, which is A. P plus 1, we get the first element, p plus 0 was the 0th element, p plus 2 would be the third element or second if you start the counting at 0. So, let's explain it here. See, p plus 0 is a which is the address of a 0. p plus 1 is a plus 1 this will translate as ampersand a1 now we are adding 1 to the pointer what will be added since it is an array of pointers so this one will actually translate to the size of an int and so from Position 0, you are transferred 1 int further, then another int further, and so on. Let us see if we can do it some other way. Now, there's another way of doing it. See, p plus 0, p plus 1, that simply adds 1 to the pointer. So, can I do it like this? Print strix p plus plus. Will it work? There it works. 
Now, you can think of arrays as, uh, as rooms in a hostel, maybe. And each hostel room is 10 feet. So when you add one to a room number, you actually move forward by 10 feet, something like that. Now, what else can we do? Just was this. <coughs> INT will define two pointers INT star start and INT star end. I'll use it later on. Start equal to ampersand A0. I can use A as well. Then start less than equal to ampersand A4. Start plus plus. Or I'll start over here and remove the plus plus from here. See, this is using a for loop on the pointers. Yes, I'm still getting it. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If I put A here, it will still work. Just see. For a start equal to A, there we are, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, it still works. Can we do it some other way? Can I use A directly? Field star A. See, I got the first value. Now, let me do it a different way here. And is equal to Hamilton A4. For a less than equal to and a plus plus and c out a will this work? See, I'm not allowed to add to it, but as I said before. I can use it for a single value. Now, what happens if we subtract two pointers? Let's try this one. INT star P1 is equal to ampersand A2. INT star P2 is equal to ampersand A4. C out P2 minus P1. We got a value of 2. Why 2? Because from 4 minus 2, that is 2. So, you can subtract two pointers only if they are part of the same array. And if you subtract them, you get the number of elements in between. Let's see. What happens if I make this 1? We should get an answer of 3. And this. So, 
Let me explain it once again. Having seen all that, int a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What does this mean? See. Let's say the memory allocated for A starts at address 1000. Okay, this is the base address. These are integers, so we'll assume that the int size is 2 bytes. Doesn't matter. So a0 is at address 1000, a1 is at address 1002, a2 is at address 1004. So if I set p equal to a or I set p equal to ampersand a0 where p is a integer pointer a pointer to an integer it holds the address of an integer this sets p equal to 1000 the base address that we have assumed now p plus 1 will not be One zero zero one. It will instead be one thousand and two. Get my point? Pointer arithmetic is consistent with the size of the element. If these were float pointers with sizes of four, then p plus one will make it one thousand and four. Okay. Now, pointers can only be subtracted if they are part of the same array. Can we use minus minus? Let's try here. int p is equal to ampersand a4. I'll set it here. See. Now I'll make a loop like before for. Since I've initialized it already, I'm just putting in the semicolon. P greater than equal to A P minus minus C out star P and We'll use the end line E N D L. Let's see what happens. Build and run. See, I got the array printed over here in reverse order. So plus and minus both are allowed. We also saw how we can print, uh, how we can subtract two pointers. If they are part of the same array and it returns the number of elements in between. Because as I said, pointer arithmetic is consistent with the size of the elements that are being stored. And okay, hope you enjoyed this small snippet. Thank you.